Hey folks, Sam here. I guess yesterday's video, it was pretty vague telling you what I do. Um, but really folks, I really, really have been busy and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you around and show you a little bit of what I got going on, uh, on the, on the, uh, trucking side and show you that you guys having lack of videos didn't go in vain. Um, I, I, I've been doing very, very well. Uh, you know, you guys, uh, I mean, my work truck is a Denali. I do stay in a little trailer while I'm up here in North Dakota because the secret to success in the trucking industry is a Dixie cup of sand in the sleeper. And what I mean by that, and I've always said that is, I don't want to be comfortable while I'm up here. I want to be uncomfortable so my ass don't just lay around. So I, I uh, work more. So that's, that's kind of my thing. Um, I'll take you around here, show you kind of what I got going on. But anyways, you guys uh, should all uh, know that, like I said, I do YouTube as a hobby. I, I don't make my money off of YouTube. I do make money off of YouTube. I love the views and everything else. But it's never, it's never the money that keeps me going. Last year, uh, I grossed, uh, so I have my own trucks, plus I have leasers that sign on to me. Last year, I think I did a uh, little over $10 million. Um, I made 500000 paid $193,000 in taxes, which is my fair share, uh, and... Uh, I just focused really hard on getting shit done. Epic Acres is paid for. All my houses are paid for. All my trucks are paid for. Uh, the wife's truck. I think I pay on that one yet. But we're doing very well. So anybody who says that uh, YouTube can make you millions, it probably can. But I'm telling you, trucking can make you just as good. But I did work really, really hard. And I decided I'm going to slow down a little bit this year. So there should be more YouTube videos. Um, but like I said, Corey's doing his thing, so I don't have a camera guy. So we got to change things up. Um, and uh, I'll switch this around here. And then I'll show you guys what is all going on here. That truck is mine. That truck is mine. That's a guy that works here. Uh, and we go this way. This one's mine. That little dump truck's mine. That trailer's mine. Yeah, that's my freshwater truck. That little uh, hydrovac thing's mine. That truck's there. That's my pipe hauling truck. Got calcium chloride with that one. That one's my little hot shot. These are my two side dumps that I have. These trailers up here are mine. Um, I do have. Uh, I. I went and spent, uh, I bought seven trailers, cost me a little over $400,000, paid it off in two years. Now I rent them trailers out to guys. So I got some uh, uh, residual income coming there. Uh, let's go up here, I'll show you the shop. So I stay busy, guys. I, I, I decided, like I said, a year and a half, two years ago when I said I was gonna grow this thing, and be successful that's what I did so uh, I'm running around truck for the guys this is one of the vans the guys used uh, my anode crew my road service truck um, <coughs> snow plowing that for that dump truck that's down there we have, uh, this is my one shop. We pull trucks in, just work on them quick, whatever. Trailer's mine, Bobcat. Just some stuff. And then I got this shop here. Uh, so we have this one. putting a new motor in this truck so we have a full-time mechanic 
Any of you truck drivers uh, looking for work, we do a four week on, two week off schedule. I pay for housing. All my drivers make over a hundred grand a year. So that's that, guys. I got uh, some stuff on the other side here. So pretty much my day is getting people going, collecting catalogs. There's my tow truck. I had them trucks down there that are waiting to be fixed, but uh, yeah. So uh, it didn't go in so vain. That's it, guys. I haven't been fucking around. I, I've been giving her hell. Uh, luckily, I like I said, no, no, I didn't die. I didn't go to prison. Um, <clears throat> I got some pictures. I'll show you. I get, my grandkid, um, we'll show you that, how he's coming along. Won't be long, and he'll be in the videos. Uh, the woodshed's done, looking amazing. We put an addition on it. Show you some pictures there, but uh, yeah, here comes the pictures, and uh, I got to go. All right, here we go. Everything's pretty badass. We dug this all out and we're gonna pour a concrete patio in here, so that's good. But here it is. Oh, you can see that on. But anyways, we added this on. And it's a sliding door. And inside, we got ourselves a shipping container. 20 foot shipping container. Which is badass. Because there's nothing worse than like gonna go hunting and you grab your boots, spin in the garage, and you know you gotta dump all the dog and corn food out or corn out from mice, uh, you know, your pockets. So this is bug proof, uh, mouse proof, waterproof. So yeah, we're gonna put them bars across there to hang some shit up. We got some shelves and yeah, it's gonna be pretty badass. So that's the new addition. Just made her back. Figured I'd stop into the woodshed and check out the latest improvement. Check this out. All right, so the last trip home, we added this on, which has the big sliding door. And we got a shipping container inside. So we're gonna keep all of our hunting clothes and crap, but I just had this done. This used to be the, uh, you know, everything. You had stones in it and a shitty little bush and weeds, and it was just always a pain in the ass. So I had my buddy Alex put concrete on and told him to surprise me and stamp it. So that's what he did, and it freaking looks badass. So, yeah. So next thing parking lot.